Carol, it is gonna be that Wario. Double Wario coming at you from the streams. Let's get it going. But this time the French people shouldn't root for the Wario, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be rooting for the Steve in this one here, but it will be Huto, another tough Wario player. You'd have to think, if all these French players are here and Gluto is their top talent, they probably have plenty of practice in this matchup by now. Getting that dash tech to start things up though, Hudo not able to find anything outside so we, these strays. And we all know that the matchup is for sure not easy for Wario, so... It yeah, really is just if he can catch The Frenchman managed to get something going. Able to avoid some pressure there by setting up that block. Ramsey's just going to keep this one out. Wants to get away from Yuta with that up Oh my god, he's pushing him so hard off stage with the back. It's not going to hit, but it's putting so much pressure on the Steve player. And that's the position that Hudo really wants, especially being the Warrior in this matchup. You need to keep the pressure on the Steve to avoid him going for mining, building up resources, to avoid him finding these hits at his disadvantage state. Like, Ramesses is already so low on Iron. He's very low, only has two left in the block, but able to get a couple hits on Hudo to mine a bit more. <laughs> he's putting his set off, off stage a bit. <laughs> he's doing well with it. I like I like his block placement though, because it's keeping himself, he, he puts yeah, his yeah, feet back on the really ground. He's trying to be safe for that, but going for the read for the down air off stage and getting the first stock already. What an awareness from Puto. No, from Gluto. <laughs> no, I from said Huto. From Huto, from Huto. Yeah, <laughs> you said Huto, I heard Gluto. But he's playing like Gluto right now. He's looking like he's playing the best, uh, one of the best uh, Warriors in the world. Yeah, it's, it's pretty close names, you know. That's like, interesting. Yeah, Wario <laughs> players, Huto, Gluto. <laughs> they, just, they just rhyme. They come in pairs. And if there's a third of them, they might be able to play in the 3v3 later mm -hmm. today. But first, we have to get this three wins on Rams. We already saw a landing up there here. But probably no off for now. Won't be finding it just yet. Porn wants to save it for the last stock just in case. <laughs> was always able to confirm another combo if he landed on that block yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nerf 2 wouldn't connect. We know that Frenchman's that uh, <laughs> Nerf 2 of Wario is not, not the move you wait for it to connect. If it connects, it's nice, but yeah. You can't rely oh on it. Oh my god, Re reacted to the roll in with the waft and getting the second stock already. This game is not looking too good for now, <laughs> for yeah. the Frenchman. Puff is not the only character that can get those React chases on the platform. It will be Hudo finding the waft. But here comes Minecart. Hits on the block, though. Able to reduce that knockback, so we're going to stay alive. Hudo, keeping this one. Maybe a three-star could be on lock, but he has already used the waft, so he has to make some neutral play. Trip in there, falling from the block. Interesting. Rain and Sis wanting to start something up here. Gonna try and find Hudo with any of these iron moves. It's we only just have one not left. letting him back center stage. Just pressuring him with fair, with nair, like all the good frame that other Wario has, and not letting him out. But back air is gonna steal the first knock. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, but here comes the up as of Hudo, but he doesn't have waft. Gonna need to find it another way. Setting up a back air here, but the minecart just gonna chip him away. Now seeing that back air. I think Steve. It, it just shows how, like in Japan, like everyone's ready for the Steve matchup, and everyone's so good at it. Look at it, just reacting to the. The job on shield with up smash, so. You are not gonna get the matchup check on me, sir, says Huto. Gonna keep this one close to the chest, winning it in a two-stock fashion. Gonna have to see if the adaptation from Remesis is gonna come out. Yeah, I hope to see that, to see a close set. And to see the Frenchman win, obviously. But <laughs> and I wanna see K roll, so I hope and he gets, I I hope he gets up 2-0. Yeah, because ah. if, if he starts losing some games, maybe the K roll would go out, so that's nice for everyone. <laughs> could happen, it could happen, I'm excited. So I hope the, the the zombie here on stage makes it work, and he has the potential to make it work. It really is just getting uh, getting outside of those pressure situations, because Kudo, as soon as he finds a hit, he's keeping it on, but here okay, okay, comes the Nils Nils Okay, that was a nice combo. It was only, one Only 50%, but it's still very nice. It was very nice indeed. It was one spot touch to start that one up. You know, Kudo thinking he could keep the pressure on, getting these hits, but as long as we're playing well inside of that pressure state, gonna be able to get our own combos. It's still a better start than the last game. We already have some kind of lead. Starting this one up. Has some good resources amount as well. We got four iron in the pocket and a wall built. But look at Hudo, able to use that back air to just decimate the... And just the pressuring the shield safely and waiting for Remesis to like overcome it after out of shield. It's one of these overcommittals that Hudo's trying to catch at the moment with these moves. He's seen what he can do if he goes too aggressive. So we're seeing a bit of a slow match start off on this side. Tries for that grab, but no, Remesis was there! Oh, no up smash going here, but could have been the stock maybe. Mm. It's an unfortunate one to miss there, Hudo. And now he's off stage, gonna try to come back, but the down air is not gonna seal the stock. Yeah, what a great tool to have here. Yeah, oh my we god, see he was now. so ready for the high recovery <laughs> with the back air. He knows that after he he's went for the He's counting out everything from Ramesses. Oh my god, he almost got the jump too. It was a nice one to find. Gets a dash tag, we're not gonna take stock just yet. We have a ledge trap setting up here, but set up that block, gets the tech! And the back air is gonna seal the stock. Unfortunate. He was setting it up though, you know, got that tech on the block, was gonna be able to keep the party going. It was just Hudo who recognized that tech there, was able to swing with a second back air and take stock, so. 
Getting these up tilts now. Rain assist. Probably trying to kneel up a smash, but... Damn. Down smash in center stage, not going to be able to take it, but we've set up a little home oh here. Oh, that looks so scary <laughs> to go out of it. It was nice that Hudo was able to get away from that one. Just jumping straight over the setup. We're starting this one neutral as well. Gets it back here to start. And we are in a position now where Waft is a factor if we want to use it. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, okay. First, okay. not such a big lead. Like, still something you can get back with is just a big stiff combo. So, but wow. <laughs> oh my god. No, not the biggest hit of the, but he follows it with the back air. That was such a great play from Puto. Yeah, making the best of a poor situation there, Hudo. Gonna be able to get the back just air and start ready up to, like, again. react to the, the bad hit of the, the, the waft is like pretty good too. He's gonna be ready for it. Even when it's full charge, like that weekend is, is so unfortunate to find. Oh, what a setup there for Ramis as well. On shield, sadly, but show that he has the technicity to do it. It was a nice setup there. Yeah, just completely removing any sort of end lag that we would have had from having to land on the platform using the block instead to start off an F smash. We see a Cole do those ones, so Ramis is but I, able to hit it. I don't think we've seen a diamond yet, have we? That's the issue here. And look at his resource yeah, bar as he well. He has no resources. He, he has the cold, but that's probably not going to be enough. It's Hudo playing on this warrior that's able to just keep the match right up and close in Ramis' face, just really stopping him from able to do anything. And the and fair dash attack's not going to get the stock, but was really close to it. And now just the back air is going nice. to seal the stock. Yeah. He's so good at just like catching the drift from the Steve up B. It's, it seems like so difficult to recover. Like surprisingly, Steve struggling to recover in this matchup here. Whether it's Hudo reacting with a down air if you try to recover low or able to find a back air if you recover high. All the options just seem to be covered as long as you're reacting. We're not out of it yet. It is a best of three. So Hudo's going to have to take one uh, more. Will he k It is a best of five. <laughs> best, of best, of five. <laughs> best of five, best of five, sorry. First, first of three, first best of three, five. There's so many different ways to say it. He needs three. The three is on his mind. It was on my mind. It's on everyone's mind. Will we be seeing a 3-0 here today, or will Ramses be able to take a game or two or three? We're about to find out here We're on going Town to City. Town and City. I'm not sure about this map because I feel like it's a really good map for Wario, but I don't know what strength Steve would bring here, but... You know, both of these characters are probably looking for the exact same thing. Yeah, they want to get early, early kills with back airs. Yeah. And maybe like having more space to like build walls and run away from the Wario. When you talk about it in that way, it works for both characters, for both of those. Kill yeah, early yeah. off the side, run away from the other. We have that's why you, you see Gluto often like pick this map whenever he can. Mm -hmm. Able to recover here though, because Shido was all the way on the other side of the stage. But now we have this lead trap set up. Is he going to be able to find it? F-Tilt coming out, but not going to catch him. Oh my god, reading the jump with the back air. Is he going to get it to frame? No. Not quite just yet. Rames is keeping this one alive. Able to snuff out Hudo's approach with that big old back air. From Steve. Uh, no! <laughs> the combo! Catch the back and mistakenly while doing the combo. What a heartbreaker from the Steve player. And it's a sad thing that, like, this is what happens sometimes in the Warrior matchup and the Snake matchup. In any matchup where you can kind of set up an item in front of your opponent, if, they, if they're not ready for it, they're just going to pick up the item instead of comboing you. So. And you can see that awkward moment they pick up the item and they're like, fuck, what do I do? Yeah, now? what do I do? I, I was ready. <laughs> I was ready to do something, but it wasn't going to work out quite yet. Swing with these back airs, though, for the first time in this set. We have a diamond on the Steve. Maybe it is what he needs to swing this one in his favor. Hudo swing with that up. Smash, but it is gonna get punished. And that's also interesting that the first time we get the diamond is on Town and City, which I think is like harder to find resources in. So, maybe just have a better control on this map. It oh my might god. Might be a comfort pick. Maybe he was staying away from I it. I think no the back here might have killed already. That was a great combo yeah. from Great Misses. Which, like, starting to get back in this game. He's doing an excellent job with it, especially a second F smash and a third using it on the bike to try and extend that hitbox. But uh, we're bringing this one back. Huto has that back here and oh, now he has, two, he has three stocks already, so he has a lead. Let's mm -hmm. see how he can play with that. The lead is still there. The percentage is all there, but waft exists. I don't think we've seen Huto hit it yet, besides that reaction tech chase. Uh, and <laughs> not able to... Oh, wait, staying alive on that down there. surviving. 139% surviving. It's really nice here. Thanks to Town and City, probably. Mm. It's always interesting when we see like a player survive a down air. It's like, oh wait, I thought that was going to kill it. Like, yeah. 60, what's going on? <laughs> We're keeping it one alive. Keeping this lead alive, Huto. Wanted to hit that up tilt. Probably wanted to confirm it into a certain move that'll definitely kill soon there. He oh gets it! Oh my god, the Waft going the wrong Four way. Life. What Still alive. a win! And gets the kill with the minecart. Okay, this is the game to win for Ramesses. It's a perfect setup here. We're not 
gonna but go he needs to stay alive here to keep his resources and especially to keep this diamond. Okay, grab perfect the first grab. not connecting. It was a perfect grab to catch him out of the air as well. Steve Play was able to use that one since it is oh. the fishing rod coming out, starting out a combo as well. What will we see? Not able to tech chase there because the platform started moving away from him. <laughs> Nothing is working in Hudo's favor at the moment. We'll have to see if Ravis is oh able to take God, one. What a nice down smash to cover. This is gonna miss from not <sighs> much, but. You can see him wanting to swing that nice back air there, but not fast enough. And look at our resource bar. It is very low! And the but the smash comes is going to get the kill! Let's go! We have a game on our hand. There we are, sir. One game. Only two to go. If we want to make this upset happen here. And like let's see if so the K-Roll is going to come out. Yes! <laughs> K-Roll wins the matchup. <laughs> I'm just going to try and gaslight him. K-Roll is going to be man. We'll start it up. You just like tap on his, on his shoulder, whisper in his ears. <laughs> yeah. Mi miss that coaching, right? Miss that coaching? Does it count? Does it count? I need to let him know. I need to let that man know that there is a certain character that he could bring out that would start my heart a flutter. I would be so excited if we see it. I don't think we will. I think what we will see is a change of stage. I think that that Town of City pick worked wonders for Ramus there. I do think that. Mm. Which is interesting, because yeah, it's as you say, it is a strong it's, stage it's for really Warrior as well. It's really good for Warrior, but I guess it really helped Ramus' game plan and like he just managed to get the lead, and that's what he should do against such a good player like Huto. Did I see a cloud? I heard cloud, right? Wait, do we have a cloud here? I heard... I'm not mistaken. Oh my, oh my god, the clouds. I've never seen Huto's cloud. Uh, uh, that means that he's really giving up on the k -roll. I mean, we knew he had the Wario, we knew he had k -roll. We have Artrix in Shumble here. Falcon, Falcon, <laughs> I found out just a second ago from Watch, he also has that character, but it's Cloud now? We've been watching too many Spargo VODs to think that this one's gonna work out, but it might if we can keep swinging with these back airs. Huto, gonna make it work if he can. This is a good chance for Ramesses to go up, though. If he's able to uh, just expo expose uh, the Huto Cloud, it's been not as practiced, it's been not a main, but if you're able to get those uppies out of shield and It's clearly a way better matchup than Wario, so I get the switch, and let's see if he can just bring all the strengths Cloud has in this matchup in his favor in this game. Well, he's working with a lead and with limit right now. We're able to find a cross slash somewhere near the ledge, just swinging with these back airs, swinging with these forward airs, auto canceling all of them. He's doing really well. He's like, the wall with aerials. the limit, too. This is the man you go to practice with instead of me. <laughs> for the, for the, for the yeah. Yeah. Let's get the Hudo Cloud on lock. Finding another forward air there. Putting him off stage. Okay, ni ni nice recovery from Remus. He's getting caught by the up B, but managing to go back on stage. You know, I think he's so used to the Wario pressure of the edge guard that he was kind of scared there for the recovery. This is Cloud, though. He's not going to be able to edge guard you as much as Wario was, so you can kind of be a little more, you know, leisure yeah. on your recovery. But then he's going to be able to ledge up you with such crazy good option like the dash yep. attack, covering the neutral getup and the jump getup if the timing's right. That's just how it's gonna be, Huto. Time okay. that one oh perfectly. Already 76%. I feel like he just spawned in. It's a tough one here. It feels like we've been getting hit by Steve combos, but it's Cloud who's been already able to set you up at 90. Another cross slash. We're taking a lot of damage here, and, and we're towards already would kill from a back air at the side, probably. Huto going for the double roll into Nair. And look how, how much he's putting pressure on him at this ledge. Yeah, it's really hard for him just to find his in. Able to combo there though, off of the block, up in. Oh my god, what a good setup. Yeah, it was nice. Wanted that ledge trump, but not able to make it work. Another uh, dash another attack. Another dash attack, catching the run in from Remus's. You know what, I was skeptical about this cloud pick at first. I was like, yeah, you know, the matchup's, the matchup's pretty good. But it is very good, especially when Huto knows. Oh my god, I don't think I've okay, seen that well, a lot. <laughs> what just a utilizing trap. All, of <laughs> all of Steve's toolkit to get this kill. We've been seeing plenty of uh, great setups from Ramesses, so I don't count him out of this game yet. He's able to find another one of these up tilt I know, combos. a big combo, maybe put him off stage. And I think in this matchup, you really need to have an edge guard on Cloud or some kind of wall setup that's going to make his recovery harder. Yeah. But right now, it's, see. again, him put in the ledge, in disadvantage, and not being able to get back to center stage. But this minecart is a good option, it seems. It makes him uh, get the stage back. Yeah, even if you're getting hit with the back air or getting hit on the minecart, you should still be ripe as rain. We're still swinging with this one, man. He has the limit. It's a scary position for Ramesses. If we want to take it to a game five, the minecart just removing the limit by just blocking the neutral B. Saving Steve for the time being. And we're again in this situation where there is no materials. How do you get back from this? Mm -hmm. We only have a few blocks to our name. Not even a diamond in our hands, oh and a down air! Oh my god, such a well-placed down air. He's gonna seal the stock, steal the game, and seal the set. Whoa.
There comes Yuta. Proving himself, not just a better warrior, but the better player at the end of the day, able to pick up characters and use them as he sees fit. But for, for such, like, a, I feel like the, the seeding difference was really high. He still managed to take a game and make him switch out of his warrior. So I think it's a great showing from where he's already. If you're going to make him switch out of the warrior, at least go K roll. <laughs> and not to K roll, obviously. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's all right, though. Keep this one alive. Huto, going to stay in winner's side. No upsets for you just yet, chat. We'll have to wait a little longer. A potential upsize that could happen soon, as soon as I update my bracket and check on my boy Seb Pro. Is if he fights Atelier, could be beautiful. Currently playing on a different setup, 12.02. Don't know if they have a stream down there, probably not. But one more set is all we need, because Atelier, he's playing hot. He's gone 3-0 <laughs> yeah, after 3 -0. He's already scouting for the, the uh, what, what's the Rob's name? Seb Pro. Yeah, Seb Pro, Seb Pro, yeah, Seb Pro. Totally said. What's the Rob's name? For, uh, another match that we actually, uh, ouch, doing well. Who was able to win his first round of winners is going to be up against uh, Bejitamu. I, I don't mean, know Ouch if that one's going to be streamed. really high for this tournament. I think 12th seed or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to have to put in a good showing if he wants to, to reach that seed, I think. Hey, the international uh, talent we're going to all favorite here. My boy Neo ended up with a 44. Yeah, and then Neo seeded 44 seeds. After uh, a third place at Cafeteria Cup, you're going to give my man a 44. Yeah, that's right. It is what it is at the end of the day. Yeah. We need to see results here. And now, and you know what? I kind of like, even if he's underseeded, my boy has the potential to do upsets. And that's what's going to make it work. It doesn't matter if he's underseeded because he is, he can be a better player. So. Yeah. What we see now, who do we have? 